everyone, this is James from James Entertainment Channel. So, for today's video, what I'm going to show you is the five things that I like about Harry Potter Wizards Unite. This has been released by Niantic on 21st June 2019, and I've played this game for a few days already. And these are the five things that I like about this game. Number one, the Fortress Battle. The reason why I like this Fortress Battle is because of the interactive of the movement that uh, it gives to the user. You need to aim at the monsters, you need to swipe to the correct directions in order to cast the spells to hit the monsters. So, why is this so unique? Because this gives you the experience of being a wizard itself. You have to cast the spells in the correct motions that sh like shown in the movies in order to cast the spells to hit the monsters in order to defeat them. So once you defeat them, you're able to get the loot from them which will help you to grow your character. So once you finish this, you get all the experience, all the items and this will go inside your vault or your images. Number two, inns, greenhouse and pot key. There are various types of inns in Harry Potter Wizards Unite, but they all do the same thing. It's just like uh, Pokestops. What they do is to provide you with energy. So other than that, there are five different types of inns. Yes, they do provide you with energy only for the inns. And also, they help to enhance the whole geographical of the wizard's world. Make it look nicer. As for the greenhouse, it's mainly of getting the plants and herbs. So next is the pot key. Pot key is just like the Pokemon Go egg incubator. So it, it requires you to walk for 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 10 kilometers in order to enable the pot key. So once you walk finish, you open up a pot key, it will create a portal for you to go inside there to retrieve items, 5 items, which will help you in your journey to become the greatest wizards. So after you get this item, once you have done, then you'll proceed on to the next pot key. Continue with uh, your next pot key, open up the next pot key, or you can continue walking with them and give you a summary of the items that you have and etc. So this pot key gives you a magical feeling of traveling through the portal with the pot key, like shown in the movie, Harry Potter movie itself. So with this, we will move on to number three, the potions making. The potions making is a very unique thing in this game because you're not just getting the potions by defeating the monsters, but you're creating yourself by gathering the correct ingredients, brew it, and then ta-da, you get your own potions that you've created. It's just like potion making classes. Interesting, isn't it? Number four, choosing professions. So when you're level six, you're this game allowed you to choose three different professions that you want. Aura, Magizologist, or Professor. So once you choose the profession, you're able to palm out your skills based on the skill tree. But not to worry because you'll be able to switch between these different professions anytime you want. So it doesn't really matter in the first place, but it leads you to experience the thing. Number five, RPG element. So after talking the first four parts of these four things that I like, number five is the RPG element concludes the whole entire gaming experience that I have. It really brings the player to another level, like building up their own um, skill sets based on the profession that they choose, pump up the correct skills in order to fight against tougher creatures, or even next time, even have Voldemort to come and fight against this dark sides it really makes me so excited once i my i think this might happen because voldemort is the really, really evil guy in harry potter world so i believe he will be out somewhere sometime when niantic release the so-called boss battle so with this this really makes the excitement of being an rpg player because you're training yourself to be the best wizard in the harry potter wizards unite Together with your friends, gather your friends to come out, play a battle, you know, fight against different creatures in the fortress, to get a higher level loot in the chamber. All these things 
it's like all the RPG elements, MMORPG elements concluded inside Harry Potter Wizards Unite. A simple game, yet it can get, it can squeeze all the MMORPG element in it. And slowly, I believe the boss element will be out for different users to collaborate together to fight against that, similar to Pokemon Go. But I believe this will be much more interesting. So thank you so much for watching. And these are the top five things that I really like about Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So if you like it, download it, and I will see you in the Wizarding World.